okay, so Pierce brought up something really, really interesting here, which is how many contracts don't receive a bid. The last time I checked, it was right around like 57% of all contracts had one or no bidders on it. So it was somewhere around 57% of all the contracts. So when you're looking at all of these things and you think like so many people are bidding opportunities, bidding contracts, that's not the case, right? Just because there's a lot of opportunities doesn't mean people are actually responding to them. My very first contract that I was awarded with the help of the Department of Interior was a opportunity that I reached out to a small business person, the Ostabu, and I gave him my capability statement, always be prepared. That's the first thing, always be prepared. I reached out to an Ostabu, gave him my capability statement, and she says, hey, I have a project right now on, it was FedBizOps at the time. She says on FedBizOps, and this was like two years ago. And again, like my first call, and she said, I have a project on FedBizOps, and I put it out twice. No one's bid it. Would you look at it? And I'm like, sure, you know, I'll, I'll take a look at it. She's like, Not, like now. So, all right, she sent me the information. We're on the phone, and I looked at it, and I'm like, yeah, it looks good. She goes, well, could, can you give us a price? I'm like, absolutely. They extended the date, the bid due date, so that I would price the job. And what do you think happened? I was the only person that bid it. But imagine how do you, like, it's almost impossible to have that kind of information available unless you are calling and speaking to people in the offices, letting them know who you are and what you do. They can't give you those opportunities.